Hello, everybody. Uh, Dr. Rick here dropping in on you. Hope everybody is having an unbelievable start to your day and that you've gotten the week off to a great start. <clears throat> Still trying to recover my voice, so uh, bear with me. Uh, before I get started, I want to remind you that we are in the midst of a fundraiser, raising funds for what the organization does, especially for uh, our Rites of Passage program for young black boys. Uh, there's a way to give, no matter what you want to support an organization. If you don't want to support the Black Man Lead, which I think right now is so desperately in need of support, you can use the Cash app and you can designate it towards a community thing we do. We do community empowerment, family wraparound services. We feed uh, hungry families. We feed the homeless consistently. Uh, we have a program for girls. Uh, it's called uh, Restoring Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters that Marion started. Um, that's going to continue to be a force uh, no matter what happens because it's so desperately needed. Those are things that you can choose and you when you when you donate through Cash App, you can state what it's for. Or you can just say, hey, if you do it through Cash App, you can, if you don't state it, it's going towards uh, Black Man Lead. Uh, if you give through the link, it's automatically going through Black Man Lead. Um, so that's that. I want to talk to you about something a little different uh, today. Uh, I've had a lot of inquiries because probably about a year ago, I started doing something. I've always done it when I felt like something I was talking about that wasn't specifically about black issues that people identify with as black issues, like the things I do at the uh, Visionetics Institute. Periodically, I will share videos when I'm talking about self-improvement, self-development, self, -development, self uh, you know, empowerment, um, inspiration, motivate, all those things that I do on the other channels, other platforms that are directed towards my company, the Visionetics Institute. I would periodically share it on the Black Voice because I feel, hey man, my people need to hear this too. We need to be developing as individuals as well because the collective is only strong as the weakest link. And so I would do it. And then about a year or so ago, I decided, man, everything I'm giving everybody else, I'm gonna give my people. And people are like, well, this is supposed to be about black stuff. Let me tell you, personal development, being at your best as an individual is a part of collective black empowerment. You can't have a bunch of people who are not performing at their height create a collective powerhouse. That's not how it works. Plus, let's just keep it real. Let's just keep it real. If all we talked about was what's going on in the black issues, this would become a very dark channel. It would become very humbug. And it would be something that I think would be counterproductive. I think that there's got to be hope. I think there's got to be inspiration mixed with the reality of where we're at. But we need to talk about where we're going as a collective, but also as individuals, because our individual responsibilities is where we first have to anchor ourselves. And then we move out and we start doing things based off of who we are, first and foremost. That's why being a husband and being a father has always meant so much to me. And that's, you know, why when things aren't right, it hits because I'm anchored in my identity and my role. And I'm anchored in my identity and my role. And so it's very, very, very uh, important that we understand that we need to have a balance. And so people are asking, and so this is my response. Hey, look, I'm, I'm here uh, to be an impact in this world in as many ways as I possibly can. And it's not just in talking about black issues. It's in a bunch of other things as well. And so I really want to just kind of share that with you guys because a lot of people are asking like, man, what's this got to do? It's got everything to do with it because you live in a world that while you're black and that should be, your, you, you know, your identity, you live in a world where you have to perform. You live in a world where your ability to navigate all of this is coming from 
your ability to be able to produce, provide, and to be in the proper state of mind so that you're not constantly stressed, you're not constantly overwhelmed, all these things. That's what I do for a living. That's what I help people do. That's what people pay me to do. Uh, now, because I am a human behavioral, uh, you know, that's where my focus and expertise is rested. I'm able to take that and do research and understand us as a people. And I've done that for 30 years and I've disseminated that in ways that you can get it in my books, you can get it in my lectures, you can get it in my videos, you can get it in the articles that I have written, both academic and prose articles. You can get it in all those places and it can help you and it can give you something to work on so you can be involved and engaged in some way. But let me tell you, you have to be able to perform as an individual in this world and uh, you're gonna have to be able to do that within yourself and so it's important that you build and take care and grow and develop yourself you've got to be strong in yourself so that's what that's about i had to touch on that so that's why that is what it is so now you have the answer uh, we've got work to do though as a collective we have so much work that we need to do uh, i want to challenge everyone to get involved as i said at the at the top of this video uh, we are underfunded, which is an understatement, uh, yet for years we've kept going. Uh, you got to understand when I started this organization, I was able to easily fund it because I was in a real good place. A lot of you guys have heard me talk about uh, the devastating time back around 2011, 2012 when things came crashing down. Uh, that changed the financial dynamic for me at that moment and it's been a process of getting back and I've grown every year and expanded every year but there has been a broad expansion of responsibilities to come along with that growth and so the money I used to be able to put off into this thing that kept it going when nobody was giving because you're talking about something I've been doing 15 years plus 20 years Officially, I've been doing it all my life, but officially I started this organization to go into the community and I've been doing it for almost 20 years and haven't we haven't raised maybe $13,000, $14,000 to come outside. Guess who has done the rest? Well, it's been a rough go since 2011, or a little bit before that, and I've still kept it going and we will keep it going because we cannot afford to let people down but it makes it extremely hard. So what I want to do is I want to challenge you. This is the time to get. This is the time uh, to show love and support. This is the time to step up. The links are in the box. You want to give through Cash App, however, cash app, however you want to do it. But also, remember, we're trying to build a network here. We're trying to build a network where we're hitting every area and we're doing things on a national level because it's so necessary. Keep up with what we're doing and what we're talking about and you'll understand it. But on that note, I'm going to get out. We really need your support. Show some love. But that's the reason why I have my empowerment videos on this channel. On that note, I'm out.